Welcome to Amit Math School. In this video, we are going to learn about a relation between natural and common logarithm. How can we relate the natural logarithm with common logarithm? With this relation, that is log e base x equal 2.303 times log 10 base x. Here, this log e base x is natural logarithm and log 10 base x is common logarithm. In the later part of this video, we will learn about the natural logarithm and the common logarithm. So this is our relation. With this relation, we just relate the natural logarithm with the common logarithm. There is another presentation of this formula that is ln x equal 2.303 times log x. Here we can say this one is ln x or ln x. Here, if the base of logarithm is e, in that case we can write this one as ln x or log x. And if the base is 10, we can write this log x, that is log x. To relate this log e base x and this log 10 base x, why we use this 2.303 or how this value is comes. In this video, we are going to find this value using the base change formula of logarithm. This formula is used in mathematics as well as apply in physics and also in chemistry. Let's see what is E. Here this E is an irrational number and this E is also known as transcendental number. So what is the value of E? The value of E is equal 2.71828 and so on. That is this value will never be finished. Since this E is an irrational number as well as the transcendental number so this value will be never finished so here we just write e equal 2.71828 this one is the approximate value we can use as a value of e here this number is irrational because this number is non-terminating and non-repeating decimal number so we can say e as a irrational number also we can say e is non-terminating non-repeating decimal fraction number. When we use this e as a base of logarithm, in that case we get the log e base x, that is we can also call ln, that is ln x. Now let's see how can we get this formula. To get this formula, we have to change the base of logarithm from e to 10, that is log e base x equal log 10 base x divided by log 10 base e. Here we just convert this log e base x to the 10 base x. So in this case we write x here and this e here and 10 is the new base. So log e base x which is equal to log 10 base x divided by log 10 base e. This is the base change formula that is from e to 10. Now we can write that is log e base x equal 1 divided by log 10 base e times log 10 base x. Just here in this term we have the base of logarithm is 10 and here the value is e. So in this case if we just substitute the value of e is approximately 2.71828 or just directly we substitute the value of e as maximum as possible in that case we can find the value of this term that is log e base x equal 1 divided by 0 0.434 that is log 10 base e, the value is approximately 0 0.434 times log 10 base x. Now, we can write log e base x equal 1 divided by 0 0.434. This value is approximately 2.303. This one is not exact value. This one is just approximate value. Since the e is a transcendental number or irrational number, we cannot find the exact value. This value that is 0 0.434 is approximate value of log 10 base e and this 2.303 is approximate value of 1 divided by this value. So we can write log e base x equal 2.303 times log 10 base x. This is the relation we want to find here. If we write this log e base x as ln x or log x, in that case we can write log x equal 2.303 times log x. Here, the base of logarithm is 10. So we can write in this way also. This video is for the relation between the common logarithm and the natural logarithm. So let's see 
What is natural logarithm? The logarithm with base e is known as natural logarithm. Now, let's see what is common logarithm. The logarithm with base 10 is known as common logarithm. So, we already know how can we relate the natural logarithm and the common logarithm. The formula we just see earlier is the relation between the natural logarithm and the common logarithm. So, we can say the natural logarithm of a number is equal to 2.30 times the common logarithm of that number. 